What's up guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and my beautiful wife here. Every week I bring you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite, excite, and bring your relationship to a whole new level. That's right. Even if you're not in a relationship, you can use these tips, tricks, and things that will help you in your future relationship. So hopefully that will be a successful one, at least on your part, right? And maybe you could teach your partner or your new partner some different things along the way. Tricks. That's what it's all about, right? Yes. Learning from each other and educating each other and feeling each other and being better together. So this week we're going to talk about something that I think a lot of couples go through. For or sure. maybe a lot of people Everybody in general, through. right? I think so. Um, and that is third-party stress affecting your life or your relationship. So that's right. So... Let's give some different examples out there, right? So, you know, you're busy, your wife's busy, your husband, whatever it is, you guys got different jobs per se, you guys are dealing with different things like contractors, new houses, whatever it may be, right? You're dealing with somebody out there. And usually, especially right now in the environment that is out there, and maybe you guys can agree with us on this one, customer service just isn't what it used to be. It's not, okay. actually it's non-existent. It's non-existent. Yeah. And you know, a tight medical center, that's what we really set a precedence on and set a priority for is our patient care and customer service. But a lot of companies out there have lost this golden touch. And you know, with this becomes a lot of stress on the consumer. So let's give it a prime example. Um, <laughs> Which one? Yeah, we've got so many, Which it's one? ridiculous, especially in the last we couple have, of weeks. We have a laundry list worth. It's been a lot. Have your pick. It's been a lot. So, you know, I'll, I'll name a couple different ones because I don't want to just isolate it to one certain thing. But let's talk about your job, right? You guys work two different jobs. Now, jobs can be very stressful, right? Especially if you're not the boss, you're getting, you know, you're getting stuff. And if you are the boss, you get a lot of stress on you too. Yeah. But you're getting stress from all different areas, whether it's uh, your employees, if you are the boss, or if you're not the boss, from your management or peers or whatever is going on, project coming up, needs to get done, all these different deadlines, mm -hmm. it's a lot of stress on you. Yep. And let's say you're part of a team in that business and you're doing your part, but the other team members aren't doing theirs and it's reflecting bad on you. Right? This is gonna put you know you in not such a good mood. You're, you're upset about it, you're frustrated about it, you don't know what to do about it. And you know you take that frustration home with you. And then you, know, you don't mean to, you're not trying to, but that frustration comes off on your partner. And then they're taking all the stress and the venting and all the good stuff that comes along with that. Mm -hmm. Now, it's okay to vent to your partner and tell them about your day, whether it's a good day or a bad day, because this is definitely going to help in the long run de-stress. But when you're bringing more frustrations and stress home or you're putting it on your partner, this could stress your relationship, right? Yeah. Um, because you're angry at somebody else, you're coming home and you're like kind of taking it out on your partner. Maybe, like I said, you're not, not mean to do this. You might not try to do this, but it does happen. It happens a lot. I mean, you might not even be taking it out of your partner. You might be taking it out of your kids. Yep. You might be taking it out of your animals. I yep. mean, hope not, hopefully not. Yep. But I mean, you might just, you might, maybe yep. the dog stepped somewhere and you normally wouldn't have been upset if the dog, you know, came across you like this. And now you're like, ah, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, these are just things that you need to take in consideration. And, you know, when you have a stressful moment or you're dealing with people, and, and this is another thing. So you're on the phone and you're dealing with, I don't know, a phone company, whatever it is. And they're just giving you the runaround. You feel like you're not getting anywhere. You're getting stressed out about it. You're getting frustrated. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm very calm and collective most of the time, but after so much ongoing chasing my tail around and asking the exact same questions and not getting any sort of answer, mm -hmm. it's going to get me frustrated too. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, there's different ways to get these frustrations out. You can definitely vent your partner or there might be some stress relievers you can be doing like working out or taking a walk outside or whatever it may be. Some, that's something that makes you happy or something that you can de-stress. Don't hit the bottle and don't do drugs. Those are two things yeah. you should not do because yeah. do those that. would make your problems even worse and they can even stress the relationship even worse more than that. Sure. You know, because a lot of people, they do that. Like, listen, you know, I'm going to go, I, I need a drink, mm -hmm. right? And, and that's fine if you want to have a social drink once in a while. But if it comes to the point where you're using this all the time, you're using it as a crutch then at that point, and then that's becoming a bad habit. Mm -hmm. And that bad habit will affect your life going forward in all different realms, whether it's your job, whether it's your relationship, um, whether it's your, your personal health. I mean, it's another thing that a lot of people don't take in consideration. And with stress, that can be detrimental to your Very health too as well, yep. right? Even with stress, we are talking about stress before where stress can affect so many different things in the body. It can raise cortisol levels, which can make you gain weight, 
Now feel good about yourself, less confident, and then you start going to a downward spiral there. Um, so there's a lot of different things you need to take into consideration. But the first thing you need to do is, is when you deal with a stressful thing, talk to yourself about it, vent to your partner if you need to, de-stress, and then come home to your partner per se. <laughs> and then, you know, have a good relationship. It, you know, sometimes you got to separate things and it's harder to do when you work together that's so, much harder right? to do when you work together so most people can't do this yeah, right they yeah. can't they can't work together i mean me and john technically we work two different departments i'm talking right yeah. and that's good because we have our own departments per se we still have the same end goal for titan but we work two different departments i mean but we still are together all the time and you know he, I don't have to come home to take anything out on him because he's already there. So, you know, he might get the brunt out of things. So same goes the other way around. You know, he might get upset about something or might be frustrated about something and take it out on someone else. And you don't realize you're doing it, right. but, you know, you're going to have to figure out at some point, like, oh, wait, I'm doing this. Let me pause for a minute, you know? Us personally, I mean, we've been going through a lot of different stressors lately. Sure. I mean, we're just getting stacked with them at this point. Yeah. It's just, uh, there's not one thing that seems like, there's not one company except for maybe I, people that just recently left us some beautiful flowers on the table yeah. to thank us for our business, which was really cool. Yeah. Um, outside of that, you know, we haven't had anybody really try to, you know, <laughs> do their job properly. And ultimately it does, it, it gets you up here, you know, and then you're, you're going to take it out on somebody or you get, somebody's going to get it. I mean, I think I've said that probably every day for the past three weeks. Yeah. Things roll downhill. It's <laughs> just who's going to be on the bottom of that hill. It's going to get, uh, yeah. that's the bad thing because it might not be the person that deserves that. Right. Right. Um, so that, that's one thing you really got to take in consideration when you're doing this communication, right? Communication is key. We talk about this every single episode because of how it should be and communication is even lacking these days. And I'm not talking about your relationship communicating back and forth, but let's say Period. it's a person that comes right to your door and they're starting a job and they don't communicate. Hey, we're going to leave today. Truck broke no, down. No, no, we'll yeah, they have the, the mosquito people. You know, so at that point, there's another, Same th I'm telling you, the, 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 the people come, right? Because we have, we have a, a, a house we just moved into yeah. and there's some things that need to be done, right? You know, gutter stuff, mosquito yeah. stuff, whatever. They come, they do half the work yeah. and then they disappear, yeah. right? Magically into air, disappear. And then who do you think has to call them to find out where they're at? me right and then i gotta figure out oh no 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 they're gonna come today and they're gonna finish the job and then this truck broke down and then we didn't we had this one tech out and they were sick and you know i mean the, the list can go on and on and on and how many excuses the company comes up with as to why you just didn't show up that's kind of like going to the hairdresser right and the hairdresser only does the this side of your hair right, all right. and then you're like all right I'll see you soon. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to do the other side. And then they don't come back for like two weeks. Isn't that strange? Mm, you do part of your hair. You say I got to leave. That's a problem. I too, mean, that, right? I do see like visually envision yeah. like only half of your hair being highlighted. Yeah. And wouldn't that be strange? And then yeah. they're like, oh, what happened to the rest of it? And then you have to ask, right? But that's like, you know, it's blatantly obvious that this right. is a problem, right? right? It's a problem across the board. If you start something, you need to finish it, right? I wish I could just yell this out or maybe put a big sign on the outside of our house that says, if you start a project, please finish it. And if you cannot finish it, please inform the customer. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. We're just asking for, in, like, just communicate. Yeah, so I mean, you know, <laughs> with this, it comes more frustrations, right? You're trying to communicate, you're trying to see what's going on. And it does bring more stress to the relationship. Yes. So, I mean, this is hard. Now, you're never gonna get away from stress. It's always gonna be there. Problems are always gonna arise and you gotta be able to know how to deal with it. And the other big thing is, is that we talk about communication and we say what to do, but are you truly communicating things with them? Are you venting? Because some people hold these things in. They don't wanna talk about it. Um, just makes them more upset per se or whatever whatever their thing is. Um, so they don't and then it bottles up and then it goes off <sighs> into something up. totally different, right? So you're mad about something at your job or you're mad about something that somebody did to you as a vendor or a friend or whatever it is. And then you go home and then, you know, the littlest thing that would not get you upset before sets you off. And then this is, goes back to maybe your partner, your kids, your dogs, whoever it is. And then, you know, you might feel upset about it or guilty about it later on. You think about it like, man, like yeah. I, I really didn't mean to say that to them or, you know, I, I was just upset, you know. Even if that's the fact, and you did do this, it's good to go to apologize for it. Mm -hmm. Communicate, say, listen, I'm sorry. You know, things were frustrating to me in this circumstance if you didn't talk about it previous. 
and um, you know, tell them like, listen, I, I'll make sure this, you know, hopefully doesn't happen again. And you got to make sure that it doesn't, you know, because if you keep doing these things, that's another bad trend that you can get into. And then you're constantly taking things out on your loved ones who really shouldn't be receiving the blunt end of the stick. Okay. Yeah. Um, it just really is. I mean. And really ways to get away from this. There's really no ways, like I no, said. there's no way to do it. Um, you just got to deal with the stress. I mean, don't ever run from your problems either. Try to hit I'm them direct, direct on. Uh, the faster you deal with these problems, um, the faster they're going to hopefully go away. If you don't deal with your problems and these other stresses that are happening, and you let them just keep piling on, piling on, piling on, then you feel like, man, I'm in such a deep hole that I really can't get out. So, you know, what am I doing here? So it's really good to just attack these things, no matter how difficult they are, how easy they may be. You know, it's something that you should do and prioritize and getting rid of the problems, taking care of them. And that way you guys can move on. And hopefully you guys won't have any other problems that mm -hmm. dealt, dealt with this issue that you're having before. Yeah. And if you are, make sure you get to the root of the problem and fix that. Because, you know, that's a lot of other things. If people only fix certain things, right? They put a bandage or a bleeding wound in all different cases yeah, scenarios sure. and, and and then that you know that that banners get soaked and then it's off again and then you got that bleeding wound just going again so what are you going to do about that so really look at the deep root of the problem of really where it's stemming from and try to take care of it there um you know if you guys are looking for stuff that can hopefully help you guys out uh, with dealing with stress anxiety things like that there's certain therapies out there that type medical center does offer that can help you out maybe to relax a little bit and I'm not talking about any controlled substances or any Xanax or anything like that. I'm talking about things that are more natural to you. So amino acid injectable therapies like L-theanine, right? Or magnesium, which are good for your body in so many different ways, but can also help you relax. And this is in tight serenity. So if you guys are looking for something like that, we have that too. Oxytocin, if you're trying to look for bonding for your, your partner a little bit more, because listen, you guys have had all this stress financially per se, or job per se, or kids, or whatever it may be, you guys got to get to that bonding period or spend a little bit of alone time together. Yeah, that might help too, is just to get away all the stress from stuff. everything and just allocate a couple hours to be like, all right, yeah. we're going to go do something yeah. and we're not going to talk about any of these problems, yeah. right? Because yeah. it kind of rolls into, you know, when you get ready to go to sleep typically oh, is man. when it all comes to, like to light. Yep. And it's just me personally, I, I, that's what I do. And I know there's about a bunch yeah. of you guys that do it out mm -hmm. there. Cause like your wind down moment. Right? right. But then as you're winding down, you might be thinking about, Oh yeah, this happened today too. Oh yeah. This too. Oh yeah. Oh, by, by the way, we need to fix this. And it's like 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, take Calm these down. tips, <laughs> tricks and things that we're telling you today, especially those third party stress, Relieve it, do something about it. Don't take it out on your loved ones, your animals, your kids, whoever's around. Just take it back out on them. That's right. Give them the full force and people <laughs> that really deserve them. it. And you don't gotta be rude about it. Just hit them right, right? And tell them what's right and don't let them get over on you. Mm. So I hope this helps you guys out. This is me and Sharice with Cupid's Corner every Sunday at 11 a.m. coming at you guys. If you don't get to see it live, don't worry, you can DVR it. Or you can go right to YouTube, type in Tight Medical Center. You'll get to see all these great shows and even more content from us to you guys. We appreciate you guys tuning in every week, day in and day out. Thank you guys so much. We love you, and we'll see you guys back next Sunday at 11 a.m. ABC or Cubist Corner. See you then.